the number one reason why a lot of new startup fail about seven out of ten startup will fail and the founder finding themselves stuck with a lot of debt unsold goods and also wasted a lot of times these are the most common mistake they fall in love with their products so much that they forgot about what's the most important which is sales which is acquiring customer so for me i have fell a couple of businesses before and also i learned from it and finally i built a couple of businesses that are six and seven figures selling e-commerce and etc so here are the things that i wish i could have learned and these gonna be the thing that i hope to share with you i'm not the big dog in the online world but i know for sure that the information that i have is going to help you guys to get there and finding your very first success just like i do so when i mentioned about falling in love with your product so much in the early stage so what happened is let's say for example if you build a app, you spend like you're raising capital you're raising fun and you put in right away of let's say a million dollar into building an app and let's say after you complete that app now you're looking for a customer but you unsure whether or not that app would be useful or that app will be something that the consumer actually want you already bypassed that phase without actually testing it within which is the most important one and by the time you have a product but you don't have a consumer so what next you get stuck with the product that nobody wants so now you have a million dollars stuck in the products that's not able to sell and you still have to pay back the people that put the initial fund in to support your project so you're going to find yourself in bankruptcy and that's why most of your startup fail so what i learned from it and also what i learned from my mentor people that actually taught me and help me to get here today is that you want to find the cheapest way to validate your product idea and put it into work as soon as possible so a quick example here just from my personal experience so i sell on amazon my privilege my business is amazon private label products my first failure was we were importing fake as fake magnetic eyelashes back in 2018 we saw that other competitors are doing really well on amazon so we were thinking if they can do the same number probably i would do the same number so what i do next is i go ahead and order the product right away without thinking about how can i stand out how my product can stand out and compete with other seller will the consumer need my product let's say if you put on a scale between my product which is a newly launched product with no reputation and the competitor who has a good reputation has been built for years if you were in that shoe it would make more sense for you to buy from a brand that has a good reputation rather than a brand that are brand new unless the new brand has something that is better than the existing competitor or other seller so I failed that product, get stuck with my partner, we get stuck with a bunch of money in that product, trying to sell it. But then it's hard, you know, because we, it's already a dead end. And all we need to do was we have to liquidate that same entire product, wasting a lot of time and money. So if I were to start over, I would study the customer first, especially for Amazon private label seller study the customer you can go to facebook groups go in facebook group find where your target audience is hanging out let's say for example you're selling dog collars to dogs lovers so you want to go search on facebook like facebook group group for dogs lovers okay we go in there run a couple survey get their idea get what their pain point what is the product that they are currently using and what are the problem that they having right now go in there asking for their opinions and go improve on that product the people that give you the opinion is going to be your potential customer so once let's say after you validate all the pain points of the customer you know for sure that you have built 
a sustainable amount of customer potential customer on those groups now you can go ahead and go to the manufacturer find a way to get the product to the consumer hand as cheap as possible cheap here doesn't mean you're not going to be focusing on our quality yes you still but you don't need that fancy logo you don't need that beautiful box you don't need that customized packaging those are going to be waste of money for you what you want to do is you want to get the exact product that solve the problem to the hand of the customer without having to spend a fortune on other things that are not necessary so the one question that i'm always asking myself is what is the 20 percent that generating 80 percent result so after i get that question stored out with the answer now I'm just focus on get the product to the hand of the consumer as cheap as possible to validate the idea and to also test the market. So when you get it cheap, when you run a turnaround faster, you get to validate your product idea fast. And let's say if it's not working, you can move on to the next idea. Remember, in business, it's about a number game. Your first product will never, maybe, but it will never be a first success. A lot of people fail unless you're a super genius, and I know you do, and that's why you're here. So if you're here new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more. But back to the story. Entrepreneurship is the number game. So make sure that you get a quick turnaround time, validate your product idea as quick as possible so that you can move on to the next product. And once, let's say after, Let's say with your first product or the second product, after you validate all the information and it was correct, the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna go back to the manufacturer. Now you can start doing a little bit more fancy stuff. Just reusing the profit that you were making on the very first batch. Now you reinvest it into improving the product, improving the product, and then now you can build a brand on top of that. So that is how you can get your startup success rate better than nine out, seven out of 10 other new success startup, new startup out there. So again, let's recap. You want to, you don't want to fall in love with your product too much. You're gonna need to focus on your customer, potential customer first, study them. Second step, focus on getting the product to the hand of the consumer as fast, at cheap but still focus on the content not the look of it to validate your ideas one you're able to validate your idea make a little bit of profit now you can churn you can invest more money into getting better packaging better quality products and also better customer service and now you can build a brand around it and grind and repeat that's how you build a successful startup business especially for anything and for me, I do Amazon FBA, private label. If you want to learn more, feel free to subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you want to learn from me. And I will be glad to help. Cheers.